One of the main reasons when clients come in or a partner comes in and they feel so bad, they have such a hard time healing after they found out their partner's been cheating is because they feel stupid. They feel stupid for not knowing. They hear all this information about all the signs. And so they feel ridiculously unaware or aloof or other friends and family will say, well, you should have known. Didn't you know? Couldn't you tell? And they'll quite honestly say no. If the person who cheated on you is a deceptive person, I'm telling you right now, it's not that you're stupid. It's that they are such a good liar and so good at covering their tracks that you could not possibly know. So what are the techniques that these people who have cheated use to cover their tracks? I think when you understand all what's available out there, you can start getting more curious. You can start asking more questions. If you're with someone that your gut is telling you, I just don't trust this person. Like, I think they're lying to me or I think there's someone else. I want to encourage you to go with your gut. Maybe even talk with a therapist or someone in law enforcement because many times they'll know these different hiding tactics that exes will use to basically, you know, put you off their scent or make you not realize that they are indeed involved with another person in a relationship. So let me give you those now. The first one, they're extremely discreet. They're so discreet and they're so wise to covering everything that you will not know. They're also discreet with whoever the lover is because they tell the lover up front something like if their partner knew they would try to kill themselves or if their partner knew they would you know, divorce them and they would be without the kids. They'll lie to a lover to get that lover to also follow the, along with the discreetness and the lie. Secondly, they remove digital awareness. They're really good at getting rid of anything that you could track them with the phone or any kind of email or anything else. They behave the same as usual. That's right, some people who are cheating can behave exactly the same. And if you're busy with raising kids or a job that's demanding a lot, it's easy to overlook some of the subtle things that that partner may not have shown you, that they may have been so good about keeping it balanced. Um, they maintain their same routine. So basically, they have a lover on the side, but they're making sure their routine with you and possibly the children is exactly the same. They're so disciplined with keeping everything the same because they're good at lying and they like what they have going on. They have you, a stable partner, and they have this other person for a little excitement. And it's important that you understand just because their routine is the same doesn't mean that they're being honest or not cheating. They're, they use friends as excuses and support. And many times those friends won't tell you They'll make up an excuse. Well, I have to go see so-and-so or so-and-so is having a hard time. So I got to go out and see him tonight. It's important that if they start doing that a lot and it's making you edgy, that you seek that out, that you check that out. You're not being nosy. You're not invading their privacy. You're taking care of your marriage. And that's an important, very important thing to do. They lock all their technology. In other words, they know that you may be checking on them, so they'll lock all passwords, all communication, and many times they will switch and they will develop a new email, a new phone number, and everything else totally separate from the one you're aware of. They limit contact with the extra uh, person. So in other words, the other person is only getting a little bit of them, which actually you might think, well, they would, they would say, forget this. No, actually, when they're only getting a little bit, it intensifies and makes the relationship, the affair, stronger for the person on the receiving end of that. They appear innocent. If you say something, They'll just, make, they'll just blow it off or say, you're crazy, or I don't know why you're doing that. I'm always here. And if they're really good at lying and keeping their routine, 
They are always there. So it does make you start questioning yourself. Are you being over the top or ridiculous? They, uh, they'll give increased attention to you. Many times their guilt or whatever else they're feeling with this extramarital affair is making them a better partner for you. Or sometimes they're saying, well, I'm just going to try again. And so they'll reinvest in the marriage while they're continuing this other relationship. Not changing that at all, but just giving you more. Um, and lastly, they'll introduce, and I've seen this happen, they'll introduce you to the person they're having an affair with. They'll do this because they believe that if you meet this person and you can see it's just a friend friend, then you won't be so concerned or jealous. Be aware of that. At that point, I really listen to your gut and I also would start talking to a therapist because if that gut feeling is so strong, it's important that you validate it and that rather than just blowing it off or saying it's nothing, that you question it and then you talk to a therapist. I have been in on those cases and usually I will go with the partner's gut more than I will just blowing it off because the partner's gut knew the truth.